Right, I'm here with Dave Miller uh, at Shoreline Shores, and uh, Dave, uh, you took uh, fourth overall in the uh, Buckeye Buoy Tour for Slalom, and uh, here we're in a uh, tournament with a more traditional format. Just want to know uh, how you feel about the different scoring systems, handicap versus you know the traditional setup. Well, the, the handicap and the Buckeye Buoy Tour has has a it's a great concept because it's bringing a lot more skiers that might feel that they don't have a chance to you know compete or, or place you know with some of the better skiers more experienced skiers so it's great in that format and, and so it evens the playing field and it's a great thing and, and you know Greg did a great job putting it on putting it together and I think it's going to help get the sport you know a little bit more participation from some folks so in tournaments so it's great in that matter um, as far as the traditional tournaments, you know, a lot of people that I've skied with in the past don't ski tournaments because it gets boring after a while, you know, skiing, you're sitting around waiting to ski, you know, one, two, three rounds, and then what do you do, you know, right, in right. between, and then you're just basically comparing it to maybe a couple guys or people in your division, or just trying to beat your own personal score. So the, the Buckeye Buoy Tour, or that handicap format, has an advantage in that respect because you're competing against everybody. And right. It's fun, and everybody's, you know, talking to each other, saying, hey, where are you at, where are we at? Right. You know, so there's, there's definitely a good thing. It's a great, great thing for the, for the water skiing. Good, good. Now, you set an unofficial record last night here at Shortline Shores <laughs> by being the first person to run 38. Uh, you did it in practice. Uh, are you going to be able to do it today in, in, for the real deal? Well, I, I, you know, if I do, if I ski my normal way, I, I think I will. Um, I just hope that I don't look too far ahead and start thinking about what I got to do at 39 because I'm really itching to run 39 this year and at a tournament. So, you know, and sometimes you get ahead of the game and that'll, that could throw you off. So I just got to stay focused for during my 38 and I don't think I'll have trouble running it if I stay focused. So just like that on every, every pass, yeah. whether it's your opener or your hardest one, if you're yeah. not focused, that's well, good luck away. to you. Thanks a lot. Yeah.